I hope everyone's doing well. I just wanted to check in with everyone and see how everyone's doing. Well, I really miss being on here. I just needed to take some time off to, you know, learn things, unlearn things. Black Lives Matter, I learned so much in the last few months and I'm going to continue learning and unlearning. If you don't feel like you have the resources to donate, like you can share, you can talk to people. You, there's just a lot of things that you can do and that and I can do to grow as well. If there's anything that you want to share, please leave a comment as well. And yeah, I'd just like to hear from you. So the last couple of months, I accumulated a bunch of, this seems like nothing now, but I guess this is what this video is. So uh, I have a few things that I want to talk about that I've been using. You know, I'm going to start off with music. I haven't really been listening to records so much because I just moved. Um, and setting everything up was kind of a pain in the ass. So I've been working on playlists a lot more. And yeah, I'll leave a link to my Spotify. There's just a bunch of playlists that you can go through, different moods, and I keep consistently adding music to it. It's not like I'll make a playlist and it ends there. All right, the first thing. So I started using a safety razor instead of like a pivoting cartridge razor. I started using one of these pretty recently and they look intimidating as fuck. I'm gonna actually film a whole video on how to use this, how to swap out the blades and all that stuff. Yes, yeah, so I've been using safety razors for about three months now, three or four months, and I've, I was testing out like a couple different brands too, so I'm gonna have that video up pretty soon if you guys are interested in seeing this. But yeah, I know it looks intimidating, um, but it's totally sustainable. There's no plastic involved and the razor itself is recyclable. Um, the only thing is that it's not totally accessible because the initial investment is a little bit hefty. So this one, this razor is from this company called Well Kept and I got it from the detox market. The razor itself is about $53, which is kind of an investment, but you can get a hundred blades. So the actual safety razor blade, um, you can get a hundred blades for like five bucks and every blade has two sides, so it's like 200 edges, right? They're just easy to use, it gives me the closest shave. This handle itself is weighted, so I apply zero pressure, so there's no irritation. Yeah, it's just a much better shave, and in the long run, you end up saving money because you're not buying cartridges and you're not using a ton of plastic as well. So, yeah, so I really do like this. This is the best thing that has happened to me since the Diva Cup. Kosas came out with a new deodorant. And this is the Kosas Spore Serene Clean Chemistry Deodorant. It's a serum deodorant. It's got AHA's. AHA serum deodorant, so it exfoliates the skin as well. It's supposed to change the pH of your underarms. Yeah, when I first applied it, I was kind of grossed out by like the moisture, you know? Because I'm so used to dry deodorants. I don't even go for gel deodorants. Um, it's just like a powdery deodorant for the most part. So I was a little bit like turned off by the texture of it, but it dries down quickly and then it really just adjusts the pH of your underarms. So yeah, I don't smell and it's awesome because usually they say you can't smell yourself, but the thing is you can smell your own body odor, right? I, I would check throughout the day. I'd check like after the next day and everything too, and it just doesn't smell. So it really, change the pH of my underarms. So yeah, I highly recommend it. It's the best deodorant I've ever used. I'm really excited about it. I actually gave one to Maddie as well. She got the unscented one and she said it works well as well. So yeah, everyone's wearing masks, right? I found this one from Bagu. It's like a color block one and it's so cute and it's got a wire right here. So I don't really have a nose bridge. So a lot of masks will fall down on me. I just have a really hard time keeping these masks on, so usually what I have to do is pin the back of my hair to keep it on. This one's great because I can keep it on for a long period of time without having to pin up anything. Yeah, and it's... Initially, it's such a pain in the ass to put on, but it stays on all day. It does not come off. If you're gonna have to have a mask on for over 30 minutes, I highly recommend that one because it does not slip. If you don't have a nose bridge, I highly recommend that one as well. Okay, obviously because of the pandemic, I stopped drinking coffee and no, I mean those two things don't go together so I used to go to a coffee shop every morning I'd go like twice a day like so in the morning and then around like 2 30 in the afternoon I'll go again not because I needed the caffeine I just needed to get out of the house really um I know it sounds so lame but yeah it just gave me a reason to get up and get out of the house it also gave me a reason to walk somewhere in the morning but then because the pandemic hit the coffee shop closed down and yeah, so I started making tea at home and 
yeah, it's just really nice. And then I, now I realize I really just don't need coffee. I just need to get out and walk around. So I started drinking um, this before bed. This is from The Key, QI, and it's a rose tea. It's beautiful, and I like drinking this before bed because it's calming. There's no caffeine in this one. And it just feels like a really nice ritual in a way. It looks like this. It's beautiful. And then you heat it up and then the flower blooms. It tastes good. It's cozy. It's pretty. So obviously it's been really hot. And I just switched my bedding to Sunday bedding. It's this company that I just found out about. And they have linen bedding. And they have this really cute mauve set. So I switched everything over to that. And I don't know. Linen bedding is the way to go. It's just breathable. It's great for warm weather. I mean, I live in Southern California, so it's kind of warm year-round. Um, it just feels really nice, and it makes me sleep better, and it doesn't suffocate me, and I love the colors that it comes in. The dusty mauve color is the way to go, so yeah. I've been loving this bedding. It makes me excited to get into bed every night. Something that I've been doing from time to time, so I have this mask right here. It's an eye mask, like a jade eye mask, from Mount Lai, and I'll keep it in the fridge, and then if like right before bed or even right when I wake up in the morning if I'm puffy. Um, if I just need a little bit of a boost, I'll just put this on my eyes and it just feels so good. If you're gonna go into like a Zoom meeting or something like that and you need to depuff the face, highly recommend this. I've been using this Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil on my hair, my skin, my face um, every night and on my hands, whenever my hands feel kind of dry, my cuticles especially. It's moisturizing, it's not greasy. I have combination oily skin and this even looks good even um, under makeup too, even though a lot of people aren't really wearing makeup, right? I know it's been around for a while, but I didn't really start using it until recently, like maybe in the last six months, and yeah, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. Um, also, SPF. I just got this one from Supergoop. It's SPF 50. It's the plain one. I use it on my face as well, but you can use it all over your body. Um, it smells really good. Obviously, you gotta wear sunscreen, and I love that it comes in such a huge container, so I feel like this will last me the entire summer. My camera keeps crapping out, but yeah, Wonderbrow. I found out about this through Hilary Duff. She was filming a video on how she does her makeup, and she's obsessed with this, so then I bought one. This is in Brunette. It's great. It's waterproof. It's kind of like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, or not, not Brow Wiz, the Brow Pomade, but it's in a much more convenient situation so you just kind of paint it on and then use a spoolie to brush it out i mean it's phenomenal it'll last through swimming pools through the beach just through everything and it's basically like tattooing on your eyebrows just make sure that your brows are pretty clean so there's no skincare or makeup oil or anything on there and then apply it on use a spoolie to brush it out and then it'll last through anything until you wash it off obviously um the last thing i want to talk about i actually have it over here so i just moved and i got these record shelves that, I mean, I've had them for a while, um, but I had them at my sister's house for a little bit because I was moving things around. I like to rotate my furniture around. The place that I just moved into has very little space, so I need seating on top of my record shelves. So then I got these from Counter Space. They're seat cushions, but they look like pancakes, and I love them so much. They're super comfy. Um, they look so cute, and... I mean, if you put like a post-it note pad right here, it looks like butter and pancakes, right? Anyway, so that's about everything, I think. Yeah, if I can think of anything else, I'll write more in the description box, but I hope you guys are doing well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.